Ah, friends. I don't like friends. Welcome to another video on this channel. Today, we are going to butcher French words and while doing that, play as the commune of friends and try to avenge our losses in the Weltkrieg. So let's head in. Alright, friends. Uh, we start with somewhat of a large army. Let's first put them on the Reichspakt border. Train them to level 3. We start just with one national spirit. Communal spirit. Increasing defense on core territory and giving other countries problems with occupying our core states. We start as syndicalist and Pierre Monate is our country leader. We also have a second command which is the Confederation Générale du Travail. It gives us some production boosts. And the Commune of France has somewhat of a large focus tree. Uh, like all these focuses will take time to complete. Uh, this right here is the economic branch. Then I guess we have some research stuff right here. Uh, right here is some foreign policy stuff. And then we have some war preparation stuff. And army, air force and navy stuff. Anyway, let's start with socialist education. For research it's gonna be those four things. And production will be this. I will try and pump out anti-air and mainly focus on artillery and infantry equipment. Later on I will add planes when I have better planes. And I'm gonna finish the ships and I will also create an agency. And also I'm gonna build some civilian factories and then pump out mills, like always. But yeah, um, that's gonna be everything for now, so let's start. Um, okay, goodbye stability. Election day one, clarifying the communal army. Let's go with the tank proponent. Election day two, the Rensen Morgen. Uh, something and again i will go with the travelists election a3 internal security let's pick marco piver election a4 economic affairs so after looking through them uh, all the economic stuff here i feel like the Sorelians have the best one in terms of giving me factories and also cool national spirits so yeah i'm gonna pick war economy and agriculture <laughs> and we shall go for european socialism for our foreign policy and with that the travelist uh, won and now let's get the research slot down there and it looks like our country leader is resigning i guess i'm gonna pick this guy it really does not matter i don't know who neither of them are all right let's um piss off most of europe Choosing a host city for the International Workers' Olympiad. Uh, Marseille will do. And the first Congress of the Third International sent out the invitations. To all of the delegates have arrived. The first Congress of the Third International is hereby opened. The chairman of the Comité de Salut Publique takes the floor. We must use any means to overthrow the international bourgeoisie. Let's do further military development and after that uh, get some economic focuses. Syndicalism in Spain. The French pledge their support and ask all other members to do the same. John, Jack, Reed and the combined syndicates. A modern day Benjamin Franklin. They have our support. Unemployment and radicalism in Latin America. Begin to nurture syndicalism in Latin America. Women's role in the worldwide revolution. Participation of working women is necessary to achieve the worldwide revolution. Policy on the Italian peninsula. Guarantee our friends in Torino aid when the time comes. And also comrade Zail Mohamed wants to speak. Will gladly support the creation of the committee. The Baharitia commune asks for support. Send military advisors to train their army. And white terror. Another reason we must end the capitalist system of murder and robbery. The worldwide economic crisis and the role of the Third International. An opportunity. The Cambridge Conference. Knowledge is power. And that marks the end of the First Congress. Okay. Which now let's do these focuses here. Workers unrest in the Rhineland. We must help them. And now that we finally got enough political power, let's get an advisor. I will go for the Great Compromiser. Support the Polish Revolutionary Committee. Send them support. And also let's become Spymaster. The Kumitang asks for aid. We will send them advisors and guns. It reminded me I could send them volunteers. And yep, that's that done. Yep, they won. Let's get more political power. Patagonia requests rifles. I have no other choice but to send them equipment. Okay. Well, it looks like Spain is having some trouble. So let's help them solve their problems. Let's get the economic reformer. So now after having done these focuses here, let's do some international stuff. The Congress of the Polish Socialist Party. Promised them support should they elect Du Bois. Yay, they elected him. International stakes in the Ukrainian election. Let's reach out to Mr. Vinichenko. The first Bourges International Art Festival. This will be the first of many. The government will make sure of it. Violence in occupied Hot de Savoy. French men bleed on French soil. Pro syndicalist victory in the Romandie. Let's not uh, provoke the Swiss, Swiss. And now the second international congress begins. And a new heir in town. Truly an event for the ages. And also, well, uh, let's say those two guys are not doing too well. 
Inauguration of the Second International Congress. Bravo, Comrade Blair. Day 2. The American Question. Let's provide resources, industrial machines and weapons. Day 3. Hemingway's speech. We no pouvoir. <laughs> Chile requests support. We cannot let Chile fall. I don't know how, but I missed the American Civil War. <laughs> Wait, when did this happen? Uh, I'm gonna finish Spain and then come over there. The final act of the Second International Congress. Proletaires de tous les pays unisés vous? Something like that. Oh, well, the North capitulated and um, I don't think that belongs to you. Time to finish off the South. Early mobilization. And um, this should end this war now, right? Maybe not. Partial mobilization. And this should end the war now? Yep, it does. So yeah, I'm gonna send some volunteers over there now. And now after doing all of those, let's do the road to war. Um, what the hell? Um, <laughs> don't mind me. Diplomatic mission from Switzerland. Let us negotiate. Extracting concessions. Let's demand economic concessions. End of the negotiations. We agree to the terms. Successful negotiations. The Swiss have made amends. Yeah, Austria, I don't know if this was the smartest move. Are they like really just dying now? I've never seen this, by the way, that they are doing, you know, their end dualism path and losing and making those guys big early. What actually happens when they lose? I don't know. I've never seen them lose or do this actually. Well, they lost right now. So they just become small. Okay. As our chief of army, I will get uh, the army maneuver genius. Yo, what? <laughs> I've never seen this, what the hell? And Spain wants to join us. Let's uh, accept Patagonian Workers' Front requests manpower. We will send them men with equipment. Alright, let's do some army focuses now. Let's also get a tank designer. Meddling in Poland. Let's make sure they win. The recluse plan. Aid the Chinese syndicalists. Return of the Patagonian Expeditionary Force. Welcome back, comrades. Finally... Boston has fallen and now they no longer have supplies up here. Yep, and there goes the Federals. So now let's do the Damocles project, I guess. So yeah, I've just encircled a lot of troops. And um, can you please help me kill them? Thank you. So yeah, let's kill them. Goodbye. Uh, let's get to this focus here and after that do some more economic focuses. So guys, I just noticed um, this division belongs to Austria. Like it says Austria there, right? Um, there's just one problem. Um, Austria doesn't exist. And there goes the Union States. Now just um, those idiots. Uh, never mind, they signed a white piece or something. I don't know. Whatever. Anything else I can like help in? Oh yeah, it's, someone's losing. So um, how does <laughs> negative? Army experience cost work, guys. <laughs> Do I just gain army experience? Wait, I can't save it. Shut up. <laughs> Wait. I don't think that's supposed to... I don't think that's how it works. Uh, let's do economic stuff, I guess. Yeah, I've just decimated the Feng Chang army with my tanks. Their control was, by the way, right here. I've pushed them <laughs> way up here and also encircled a lot of troops. I'm now gonna send the tanks over here because um, I think they need them more right now. Argentina asks to join the Third International. Welcome aboard, comrades. And Chile follows suit. All right, it's time to take down Germany. And uh, American Civil War finished. And looks like the syndicalists we supported won. Uh, now they can later join us and destroy Canada. So um, before the war starts, I'm just gonna go over the army I have right now. So uh, four out of my five armies down here are currently on the border here. Uh, the rest is just guarding the ports in case any naval invasion would happen. And uh, then I have my tanks right here, which will push through Belgium so that I can circle the troops right here. And uh, also because most of the troops are located right here from the German side. So it will be easier to uh, go through there. The main infantry template will be this and I'm gonna add uh, these two things when I uh, have 20 XP. So right now I'm just gonna add the anti-air. And uh, for tank template, this is the tank template. I just threw something in there, honestly. And uh, tank design is this thing right here. And for air, I was mainly producing this one right here. And now I've upgraded to the improved airframe. So it's this right now. It's literally just more armor and guns. I also have some uh, radar stations. If you couldn't tell by me being able to view all the German divisions down here. 
and also I did give the tank some um, metals reduction of fuel usage and um, some supply reduction two times because uh, I do want them to have supplies. All right, the war against the rice pact has started now. So yeah, let's accept the American volunteers and also call everyone in. They were already fighting uh, Moscow and Japan and now they will have to fight against the third international. Let's first also uh, get focus. I can also bypass this. And this will be bypassed after Portugal is dead. So now let's do revanchist propaganda to get some uh, buffs against the German Imp. And also let's try and attack them right here. And let me just pin them in the port also. And then, after not being pinned, get up there. Nice. And then go down there. And that should, after I get the ports, encircle them. Or already encircle them. Uh, you shall die. Goodbye. And that's gonna be a lot of casualties for them. Just got some uh, expeditionary forces, mainly from Britain. And I'm gonna use them to quickly crush Portugal, because I don't think this guy's gonna do that. Well, and uh, here comes the declaration from those guys. Call in their boys. Please let me call them in and don't bug out. Thank you. And that's a lot of troops now encircled, especially right here. So let's um, pull them off, I guess. Goodbye. After... Having done that, let's also now kill those troops down there. So yeah, let's tell them goodbye. 22 German troops. <laughs> and they've been overrun. <laughs> like I've already caused half a million casualties with just some encirclements in Belgium. Well, that's Portugal dealt with. I had to get my tanks down there. And uh, America joins the Third International. And the Australian Union also joins us. Great. Let's also get the radical firebrand now. We got elections again. Let's go with the modernization and optimization for the military. And for internal security, let's go with democratize the Surit Populare. And for external security, the current system is satisfactory. Economic policy, maintain the syndicalist cause. And foreign policy, secure a European socialism. And the yeah, yeah, my the party right now gained uh, majority again. Um, let's get someone else this time, I guess. Yeah, and looks like Triple Atania has applied for membership in the International. So let's accept. And the Republic of Italy just capitulated, so let's kill off the troops here in Circled. Um, okay, there's a socialist uprising in Poland. Why would I refuse? So with decrypting their stuff and also putting my spice back on there because I to remove them to get some prisoners back because, uh, you know, this game is just lovely sometimes. I shall start an offensive. I guess I can get advisors from America. Um, well, I broke through in the north and I got some troops encircled and I hopefully the Netherlands will capitulate after Rotterdam falls. And that's Rotterdam gone now. Let's finish off the rest here. Netherlands have capitulated. Great for me. So let's push on north. Because planes completely broken through the north, man. They <laughs> cannot reinforce that as fast as I'm going. But yeah, um, the Russians doing fine, I guess. Conquered most of Ukraine down there. Losing to Georgia. Uh, big Hungary and... I honestly do not give a shit anymore. So yeah, I'm just gonna focus up here now. And Berlin has fallen. They continue to lose territory. Yeah, let's conquer some more cities. Not looking too great for Germany. The collapse of the Reichspakt. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of that. They deleted their faction and also their troops, apparently. Uh, so before we um, peace out with some of the capitulated states, let's look at casualties. They suffered a lot of casualties from me and Russia. And I've, like, not actually lost that much troops from them. I thought I lost more because they were, like, attacking me the entire time right here while I was in Italy. 
But yeah, other than that, Belgium losing their entire army to me, uh, Netherlands following suit. Um, Brazil also lost a lot of troops to me, while the eastern states of course lost most of their troops to Russia. Uh, Czechoslovakia also losing a lot of troops because of me. And other than that, uh, I've not really dealt that much with the allies other than Portugal as you can see. And also some Sardinian troops, I did not see the rest of the troops from them. But apparently I killed some French troops, I don't know. Maybe in Portugal, actually. And for our side, Italy is just headbanging their troops into the front lines. And the rest of the casualties are still fine, honestly. Russia... Yeah, let's not talk about Russia. And Japan having done literally nothing, as you can see. And, oh, th those guys are not doing too great. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get to a peace deal. Because it's so fun doing a peace deal and then doing another peace deal, right? Right, guys? It's so fun. Isn't it fun? Isn't it? Oh, I'm having so much fun with that. I'm gonna annex them and also annex them, but I can't because the game says, mm, you may have done everything, but uh, fuck you then. I'm just gonna steal all the navies because... <laughs> How do you think I can afford a navy? Yeah, uh, so worth doing a peace deal for those three nations. Alright, if we get to Vienna, we will probably end this war with Germany. Boom, there they go. Russia is not getting a single piece of land from that. And of course I need a navy, guys. <laughs> a brand new one. I built that, yeah, shut up, it's not stolen. Ah, isn't it beautiful? I hate it. And the rest will be easy, so yeah, I'm gonna skip time when they capitulate. Ah, Belarus, you smelled who will be the victor, so of course we're gonna rescue you from Russia. Uh, shout out to the Polish uprising which made this possible. Uh, and my army. And there goes the rest of the East, I guess. European Revolution. Let's create a Baltic Union. All oh, right, uh, they're in an Entente, of course. And also, someone's preparing to attack. Can't believe they would do such a thing. Okay, after now dealing with all the problems, let's uh, deal with this now. Do you like my new Europe? Ignore Romania. Paris against Moscow. Let's call the rest of those guys into the war so that I can have a good front line to push them into. <laughs> On another note, let's end the illegitimate French state in Africa. They did not have anything on their ports, because why would they? Right, guys? Why, why would they have something there, honestly? It just, wouldn't, it just doesn't make sense. Like, honestly, why would they have something there? And there goes the French Republic. And they immediately just let me take everything because it's not like I did all the work. Honestly, why? I don't know why I do an uprising when I was the one controlling the state, but okay, friends. Apparently, Ireland was in the war. I didn't see that one. Okay. Liberia, also gone now. Anyone else that's Syria, yeah, Portugal, didn't see that one. And yeah, they are preparing to attack me. As you can see up there, uh, because they apparently have not had enough problems. Sadly, I cannot d defend Chad because of Niger and stuff like that, you know. Uh, what's with Canada? Are they still alive? Okay. You're doing a bad job, my friend. Alright, uh, I've so successfully forgot about this and also successfully pushed them um, out of here. Oh yeah, I could also release the states. Well, that doesn't look too good for the Chinese, does it? Anyway, um, I've not really been looking. Why, why, why is this open? Uh, you just keep pushing, guys. I believe that you will uh, capitulate them eventually. Well, it looks green now, so, um, so I guess I can use the tank somewhere else. <laughs> Why are you not, like, finishing them off? But okay, I guess I'm gonna send them over and then forget about it. Whatever. Uh, I suffered so much on the Russian front, but they suffered more from me, so, uh, hehe. <laughs> and now Petrograd also falls, which will make them, uh, very close to capitulating. Problem now being that... Uh, Fucking cities are just spread around here. I hate invading Russia, I hate invading Russia. Never fear, France is here. Actually, you do shall fear that. And after Toronto falls, I believe they will capitulate. Uh, or that happens, whatever. Uh, did the Entente just get nuked? Yeah, it did get nuked. What the hell is the Democratic Alliance of the Caribbean? Yay. I don't care about Canada, do what you want. Who needs to build a navy, honestly, man? Just steal them. It's so easy. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna keep the city. I have no other choice, they're forcing me to. And let's get some more cool African states. 
And now we just have to wait till, you know, um, those two capitulate. And I believe that should do it. Now they're completely gone. Now I can't take the entire navy. And that's just not cool, man. Anyway, more African territories. Isn't it beautiful? Holy shit, that's 50 victory points there. That's totally gonna make them cap. Okay, finally that's done then. Goodbye, Russia. And I got everything, guys. Let's go. Um, alright, um, I changed some uh, stuff. So, let's prepare some wars against some nations in Europe that are still not the right ideology. And after Denmark has capitulated, Bulgaria now also is gone. And uh, now just Sweden and Norway remaining in Europe, right? Uh, and Switzerland, I forgot about them again. And now after Sweden is conquered, let's also, let's get the other two states still, you know, remaining. That's why I'm preparing to attack them. Uh, yep, that's gonna be the end of Switzerland. And uh, Norway will take a while, no supplies. And yep, that's Switzerland gone. And uh, now just Norway. Well, boys, we did it. Switzerland is no more. Um, I, I do have Swiss-French cooperation still, though. Don't know with whom I'm cooperating. And now, finally, after a long time, the Third International reigns supreme in Europe. We've um, made every country in Europe socialist. Um, there's no other country I'm getting a, a tech decision on, so yeah. And uh, yeah, this is what I did to Europe. Uh, I hope you hate it, because I do. And this will now be the end of the video. So thank you guys a lot for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and see you in the next one. Goodbye.